Audit Route for Administration Medication that is administered by the Audit Route may be instilled to treat infections and inflammation, soften earwax for later removal, provide local pain relief, aid in the removal of a foreign object trapped in the ear. Steps for administering otic medication. Gather all of the supplies you will need. Medication, clean tissue, cotton ball if applicable, mar, the person receiving the medication. Wash your hands. For each person a medication, match the person and the medications to the person's name and the medications that are due on the mar. Always use the five rights plus two each and every time you administer or supervise the self-administration of a medication. Ears are normally sensitive and some conditions will make them extremely tender, so please be especially gentle when instilling eardrops. Warm the eardrops by holding them in your hand for approximately two minutes. This will help prevent discomfort and vertigo. Have the person lie on his or her side with the affected ear facing up. Straighten the person's ear canal. For adults, gently grasp the top of the ear and gently pull up and then back towards the back of the head. For infants or young children, grasp the earlobe and gently pull down and then toward the back of the head. Instill the ordered number of drops by aiming the dropper so that the drops fall against the side of the ear canal, not aiming down the center where they will hit the eardrum directly. This technique will lessen discomfort. Hold the ear in place until you see the medicine disappear down the ear canal, then release the ear. Ask the person to remain on their side for 5 or 10 minutes to allow the drug to travel down the ear canal and work. Help the person sit up. Clean and dry the outer ear. Keep in mind that dizziness is possible with eardrop installation and make sure that safety precautions are in place to prevent falls. Never put cotton in the ear unless the doctor's order or prescription label instructs you to do so. If instructed to place cotton in the ear canal, tuck a cotton ball loosely at the entrance of the ear canal. Do not push it too far into the ear canal because you will prevent the secretions from draining out and will also increase the pressure on the eardrum. Document the administration of the medication on the MAR. Return the medication to its proper storage location. Important considerations. Take special care not to injure the eardrum. Never put any object, even a Q-tip, so far into the ear canal that you can't see its tip. You will not be administering otic medications to a person who has a perforated eardrum. This requires sterile technique and will be performed by a licensed professional if needed. Certain otic medications may be prohibited or contraindicated in some situations. For example, hydrocortisone is contraindicated if the person has a viral or fungal infection. The changes to Chapter 393.506 of the Florida Statutes went into effect on July 1, 2018. One of the changes deals with the validation process with the Otter route. Validations for this route may be completed using simulation. If you were not validated for the Otter route prior to July 1, 2018, you will need to be validated before administering or supervising the self-administration. Once validated, you will not need to be revalidated annually. However, you must keep your primary route, either oral or enteral, current, or you will be required to take the six-hour training and be validated before providing medication assistance services.